it's quite interesting, but if you back at the history of the Pax, mm. this this had never happened before from nineteen fifty seven till twenty ten. Wow. The first player to do this was was Kevin Prince Boateng. Mm. In the lead up in twenty eleven he said he found it difficult combining club football and international football. That was after he laid it back in the twenty ten World Cup. I see. Then he rescinded his decision in 2013 so that he could play for us before the World Cup in 2014. I see. The IU brothers also did the same thing in 2013. And the same IU brothers did it. Jomama had to come in in 2013. They retired in February. Mm. Jomama came in in, 20, in June and convinced them to come back. Mm. The same as Amadan who did it. And John Mahama interceded on his behalf, on behalf of Ghana and he came back to the squad. So, this is really not anything new in the recent times. I see. In recent times, players have been doing this year. So, they, mm. they threaten or they quit. And a president or a big, big person comes in and calls them to come back. As a modern case, I think this will really distort the camp in a way. Mm. It will really distort the camp in a way. So, Kosia PS managerial skills will come to bear here. He, he has to handle matters very well. And what I mean suggest is when they go to camp, mm. Asamajan, along with their new captain, Andrea Yu, should meet the whole squad together and sort out issues immediately because they, are, they have to present a united front. It's true. They all want one thing, which is to win AFCON. Mm. So, this issue has caused a little bit of rest in the camp, but it can still be salvaged. They need to just meet the whole squad and say, we all know what happened in the lead-up. We all want to win the Afcon. That is the most important thing for all of us. Be, so be, let's forget about everything be, 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 and one, move on. One person to come in and say this, that, you know, um, <coughs> the president himself yeah. coming in to talk to the player is a breach it's a breach of protocol or it's a breach of procedure because uh, if Asamajan willingly says that he doesn't want to play uh, with the national team again because it feels like he should be the captain. Meanwhile, the coach knows that you are not fit for the job. And it's not like Asamajan, you've not been the captain of the Blasters before. You've been way back. So why yeah. don't you just yeah, uh, yeah, take yeah. a step back and let somebody take... Because... Uh, Bema, you get it? Uh-huh. Uh, so, yeah, people, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. So pe- people are the asking... Coach, the coach... In actual fact, in actual fact, the coach, someone that was not in the coach's plans, until recently, he started scoring goals and doing well in some few matches. I think two or three weeks ago, he scored a brace, and last weekend, he scored a, an equalizer in the last minute. And that is when he started getting into the team again. That's when the coach started looking at him again. In fact, the coach wasn't going to call him. So when the coach decided that, okay, fine, he's doing something, he was, maybe he can be an impact from the bench, mm. probably. So the coach decided to include him in the plan. Since he wasn't even in the plan, he had already given the captaincy to Andre Ayu, I which I personally don't agree with. I think he should go to someone else. But mm. he said, Andre Ayu, fine, let's support him. He wants Andre Ayu. Mm. So Andre Ayu was the captain. And as Amanda was told, he was called by the coach on Sunday and he was told that he should tell the nation that he is giving up the armband. Mm, you get it? I see. So I see. that's what that's what happened. Yeah. So he was told by Kutiapia to do that. But, but, he didn't respond to Kutiapia immediately mm, and came up with that statement that he was retiring. So he didn't discuss it with anyone. That was his mistake. He just, didn't discuss it with anyone. He said he discussed it with his family, but the coach, I don't think he discussed it with him. I see. Yeah. So, 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 Before so, coming out with that statement. The question that we, all, oh, most of us, especially me, and the people who are listening to me, I believe, uh-huh. need to know is that, how did the president come in? Because as I said, sports is an autonomous body. What did I say? It's not under the government. Yes. What did I say? Yes. So why would it's not under the government. Good, why would the president now have a, a, a say in the football affairs here in the nation why would he in the first place people are talking what do you make about the president coming in to intercede on yes the i'm not a fan i'm not a fan of the president coming in in this case mm-hmm. this is undermining the authority of the coach the coach has taken a decision yes and the player has also taken a decision mm-hmm. based on what the coach said mm-hmm. the, the president should not interfere 
in my opinion. He should not interfere. But as I said, I gave you the history. Mm. It has happened before. John Mahama did it twice mm. when he was in office so he's as the president. This. So it has become something like a norm for it to be like that. And there is no punishment or not. No one is rebuking them enough for them to see it as a problem. So they feel it's fine. But in actual fact, the president shouldn't intervene in this case. Uh, okay. Asamajan said he can't, he can't take back the request of the president. He uh, essential request is blah, blah, blah. He said it. So based on that, he's coming back. Mm. It, it's quite interesting. It's very quite <laughs> interesting. Now, the other aspect that I also like us to look here is that in the letter that the press release that uh-huh. Asamajan came out with yesterday, somewhere we saw some spiritual yeah. something be and clearly what i understood was that a prophet said that if uh the day i used to lead the the squad for the afghan ghana would take squad, the yeah yeah knowing very well in about 37 years we've not been able to take any afghan that's a long time man that's a very long time so yeah the, the spiritual aspect also had a play and if that is the case then it's like we say to is at fault so do you think the spiritual aspect too yes mm-hmm. I, I can't tell for so I can't be so sure because that's the rumor going around. Kusia Pia is the one who can tell us it's because of the spiritual matter, he, which he will never admit or deny or confirm. So we are left to just be speculating and seeing. We are left to just be speculating and we don't know what the real truth is. So if it's because of the spiritual matter, my goodness, I would be so surprised. Mm. I would be very, very surprised. I am. I am thinking and I'm hoping it's because of something more than just a spiritual reason. I am thinking that because I think Kuzia Pia is a, a sensible man, in my opinion, who a great a good coach who should not leave things to spiritual matters when it comes to winning a football tournament. Yes, there's an element of luck sometimes, but you make your own luck through your hard work and determination. Mm-hmm. You don't sit down aloof without working and expect things to go your way you work and the universe will reward you by also supporting you because you want it you will get it but you don't sit down and say because of this this spiritual this so i'm not going to train or i'm not going to work hard or something no i don't want to believe it's because of the spiritual reasons please help you give the captaincy to andrea are you in my opinion i don't want andrea are you as captain but that's me that's my opinion i think someone like Mm-hmm. Thomas party is a better fit. Okay. He's one of our best players mm-hmm. and also a good leader. So yeah, that's my opinion. You think you, you, you think that uh the guy doesn't have the resilience to lead the team to be a unified front? I, I, he can be a unified front, but history with the Black Stars is telling me that the day are you and Asamoa general have always divided the camp. Mm-hmm. Players support some support Asamoa Jan, some support Andre Ayu. So, what's the best way to break that chain? To give it to someone no one really wants to like the two people. Yes. Then the, you've broken that chain. Mm. So, someone like Thomas Party, everyone is cool with everyone. So, you just give it to him. But he's a coach and maybe he has his reasons, which I don't know now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on to um, this is the squad. Information we are having is that Christian uh, yeah. is taking 29 yeah. players. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, and and then next week Sunday, yeah. uh, next week Sunday, June first, they will be leaving. Uh, actually, they are making preparations for Dubai. Yeah, they leave. Yes, ahead of the competition. And then what we are get getting is that out of the twenty nine players, no, only twenty three will be named to represent Ghana at the tournament. At uh, the tournament, what do you uh, make yeah. with all yeah. the squad coming? What, what do you make about the squad, the new squad who are going to represent Ghana? Even though the final twenty three uh, have not been. Uh, brought out but we know we have the 29 but not the final 23 what do you make of the final squad the squad is good i i'm, I'm really happy about the squad john boy mm. i'm happy he's back because he has proven himself this season yeah he's been a great defender he's helped his team back into the french league one mm. he was in the team of the season in france and Deservedly, he's been called up. I'm really happy about that. Joseph Edu is someone I've really been talking about on my channel for a while. He's been a revelation, a great, great player in Belgium. So I'm really happy with the squad. And there are three local players in there as well. Mm. Five debutants as well. I think it's a well-balanced squad. Yeah. The forwards, 
Jordan Ayu hasn't been so great for Crystal Palace, but he scored some few goals in there. Yeah. Majid Warren scored five goals this season for Nantes. That's not so much. But Caleb Okuban is the one I'm looking to mm. to push us further forward. Yeah. So I, I think it's a well balanced squad. Abdul Fatal who is being great for Kotoko and he's scoring goals. He scored three kicks. Mm. How many times do we get free kicks and waste them? It's really, really an interesting squad. I'm really happy with the squad. The free aqua, some as a Japan. The only surprise for me is the extinction of Alfred Duncan. Alfred Duncan, for, unfortunately for him, his injury didn't allow him to join the squad. So, all in all, it's a well-balanced squad. Kojo Asamoa, I hope he'll be played in a favorite midfield position instead of the left-back at Inter Milan, but he's been doing well at left back as well. But it's not a more natural position if in midfield, which I hope he will play there. So the Black Star squad is good. Christian Achu, mm. great for Newcastle last season. Mugra Aqua Castle in his last game, he scored a beautiful goal with his right foot. That's his weaker foot. And mm. I think the team is all balanced from our party to his in there. So we should do well. But the key I've always been pushing this is unity. Unity, unity is even more important than the tactics that they coach will give us it's even more important if we form a united front that's why i said when they meet they should dissolve this matter immediately mm. they shouldn't they should talk about it the coach either the coach or the two the captain will call as someone and they sort it out there and then so that things move on we move on from it because we can't have any disruptions in the team already okay. it's already a tough tournament 24 teams and we need to be a united front yeah. okay. Before I take leave of you, what are your final predictions um, in this upcoming AFCON? Do you think Ghana has a chance, even AFCON? Uh, yeah, in the in the quarter, in the semi-finals, in the quarter, in the finals. What what do you make? What do you make? I mean, what are your predictions for Ghana come this AFCON 2019? Well, right now on the sport, if you ask me to predict, I am taking round of 16 for Ghana. But but mm-hmm. if they manage to sort out these issues that I talked about about the captaincy and all that, if they're able to sort it out well mm. and form a united front, yeah. I won't be surprised if they make the semis. I won't be surprised. Wow. Then, I won't be surprised. Uh, then then, then yeah. it means there's, there's yeah. actually more hope. There's actually more hope. There's yeah, there's hope. hope. There's hope. And when you get to the semis, you're, you're, there's hope for the final. So, But I'm tipping the semis. If everything is good, for the Black Stars players. They have to form a united front. Unity is even more important than anything. I see. I see. Um, Selassie, thank you very much. And then Selassie, he is the yeah. moderator of Sahara Football. Sahara Football. Uh, we'll put a link in the description. You can just type Sahara Football and search him. You'll get more updates, in-depth analysis. This I've contrast me. He's about to trend again. Because the last time during one of these occasions, okay, football you trend. Football, the one now be trend. So we thank you very much for always <laughs> the, the time to talk to us and also give us your view here and about. Thank you very much, Elasi. My pleasure. My right. pleasure. Thank you, Tim. All right.